Kirk in the fire. Oh my god. Wow. Crikey. Chris, have you been training Mike? Yeah, <laughs> Chris, Chris, come out of the chair again, please. Absolutely. Let me give this a pause and I'll throw you a chair. You're going to get toasted up there, Mike. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. Mike, I've got so many technical questions, but we'll leave those for another day. <laughs> yeah, leave those for another like, day, I think. Uh, like the 360 go, minutes of playing. Anyway, this is cool, Mike. I like Here's your chair, Mike. Different. Okay, I, I know I've been told that I've been on a hot seat before, but this is ridiculous, you know. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you planned that. I planned that, yeah. I was trying to get that one out. Can yeah. I have this? extra stresses yeah. and pressures on yeah. police officers yeah. when they're making their decisions um, right. that actually really bring out that decision making and really give that realistic sort of experience, which and you can't replicate in the classroom. So to have this sort of scene here and have the mm -hmm. bus driver talking to the officer saying look can, it's only just a bag can can we just take it off the bus i've got a round to do i've got i've got passengers i need yeah. i need to take i'm be delayed yeah. by an hour all of that sort of pressure on officers may lead them to think oh i'm just going to treat this as, as lost property yeah rather than do a thorough assessment whereas so here we've got we some background noise already yeah. this uh, you hear yeah. that i think chris probably brought that in already that's changing like already a little bit of your attention is now not here yeah. right because you're listening yeah to and what we can do after this is, is is after the responding officers have actually done their assessment and if they turn around and they <laughs> there we go yeah another <laughs> problem <laughs> so again is it typical for the environment that that it's been found in because circumstance here with this type of suspect package we have um you know i would suggest that yes you it wouldn't be unheard of to find a bag that's been accidentally left on the seat so that's when police would come in and we would do a bit more of an in-depth um assessment of that package and as i say unfortunately i can't go the ins and outs of what that package um, is because our, our tactics are, are are protected and it, it's yep. amazing being actually stood in a bus with you talking contextually yeah. about the things yeah. that you would talk about in the real world normally yeah yeah, exactly. So yes. with these sorts of, of environments, it's not only um, a case of where we can say, right, OK, we've got a police officer responding. Let's just leave them to it and, and, they, and they can do, go do their assessment. We are actually able to bring classrooms of new recruits into an environment like mm -hmm. this where we can bring them all into the bus at the same time and then yeah. actually show them the process that an experienced officer would go through, whether that be a trainer or whether that be an experienced officer that, that we brought in for the day to share their real life experiences. We can kind of replicate that and bring that into these sorts of environments, which is just amazing. And as I say, when we're working in classrooms and, you know, because um, new recruits training in, in, in the police and the Met is about six months. Uh, so in that six months, the majority of that time is spent in the classroom. So being able to do things like this, where we can try yeah. and bring the street into the classroom for them mm. is really, really